Drinking Buddies. Really excited for this one. Uh, I got an Eagle Rare here and I got an Eagle Rare store pick and I want to find out if store picks are better. Let's find out. I'm your drinking buddy. So a little Eagle Rare. So this is going to be the Buffalo Trace Mashville number one. It's going to be a very low rye Mashville, um, which makes for a really mellow, uh, smooth whiskey. And it makes some really, really good higher proof stuff um, like Stag Jr. and George T. Stag and E.H. Taylor Barrel Proof and things like that. Um, but this 90 proofer at 10 years old, to me, is a wonderful bargain at $35, and it might be just a smidge overrated. Don't at me, but hear me out. I can buy this Brussels 10 all day every day for about the same price point, and I personally prefer the Brussels by a smidge. But maybe I just haven't had a great store pick. This one came from Total Wine and More. Um, I do find it, find it kind of cool that there was a rumor going around that they were gonna lower the age of this particular bottle but instead of lowering the age, they went ahead and plopped that age 10 years statement right there on the front of the bottle, front and center. So, I like the look of the new bottle. Um, I'm not your typical whiskey YouTuber who's gonna come over here and say how terrible it is because they changed the bottle design by a smidge because for some reason if you change a bottle design that means that obviously the liquor inside is terrible now because um, that's a thing that people believe. Um, but. I will give these two a fair shake here, find out which one's which. I got them blind poured. Let's see which is better. Glass one. Oh, oh, wow, okay. This is super, super medicinal cherry. Like, I have not, I have never tasted, smelled this much medicinal cherry on a whiskey before. I'm, I'm smelling cherry cough syrup right now. That's, that's, that's all there is. Maybe a little honey. Cherry cough syrup, cherry medicine. The cherry, the medicinal cherry carries through on the palate, but you're also getting a little dance with oak and cinnamon and bourbon vanilla, and then the finish goes right back into that medicinal cherry. Um, that's pretty solid. That is, um, I did right before I filmed this, I had a pour of the Brussels 10. Whatever's in this glass, I think I like a little bit better than what I just drank out of the Russell's in. So whether that be the store pick or the standard, and I'm just full of crap, one of those things is true. Completely different nose. Night and day, completely different. This is oak and cinnamon. There's cherry here, but the cherry on this is more like a candy cherry. The cherry jelly bellies. Huh. This is close. This is really close. Despite the fact that the nose was different, the palate is really similar. That oak into the cinnamon, right back into uh, a cherry, but not a medicinal cherry, more like a candy cherry. So it's almost like just a different fruity note. Everything else seems to be pretty similar. Let's go back through these and then I'll tell you which one I like better. All right, drinking buddies. So while this one is a little bit more medicinal on the flavor, I think that there's just slightly more going on on here. On the palate, I'm getting more of that cinnamon, I'm getting more of the bourbon vanilla, and I'm getting more oak. 
the name on this one, which is, is kind of tasting like almost one note cherry. You know, there's oak there, but it's more subtle. There's, you know, there's cinnamon there, but it's more subtle. And here it's more of a dance. There's more, there's more going on here. It's a unique nose that I admit is medicinal, but it's, it's good. It goes down insanely smooth. It has a slightly thicker viscosity on it. This one is coming off just slightly more thin. And I think just slightly shorter on the finish. I, I, I am saying they're slightly different. There's a slight difference here, and I'm leaning towards this one being better. Let's find out if I picked the store pick. Picked the store pick. I was really hoping I wouldn't like the store pick better. <laughs> It did cost $5 more than the standard Eagle Rare. Mm. Total wine and went and picked this bottle or this barrel, or, or, um, you know, they sent some samples to someone at Total Wine and they picked one randomly. I've heard of that type of thing happening. Um, the one thing that I will say in the defense of the regular Eagle Rare is they are almost single barrels. So what it sounds like is it's as close to a single barrel as you could possibly get without being called a single barrel. I guess the way that they dump it um, into the bottles, they go barrel by barrel. But if that last bottle has a little bit of a, you know, bulk for one barrel in it, they will still pour from, from the next barrel. So it's this close to being a, a single barrel. It is far smaller batch than any other whiskey. It's, it's either coming from one barrel or two barrels, not, not more than that, from my understanding of this product. Um, but to have a barrel that was hand-selected by someone, even if that is someone that, you know, works at the distillery and was just picking some, some bottle barrels that they liked to sell to, you know, to Total Wine or, you know, wherever it may be, um, chances are pretty good those people selecting those barrels are going to select really good stuff. So, um, we found when we've been just with a standard Buffalo Trace that we liked the Buffalo Trace pick better. Unfortunately, the Eagle Rare pick is better too. This is a really, really good bottle. Cheers, drinking buddies. Please leave a comment down below with a store pick that you would like me to compare. And subscribe if you're not a subscriber. And that like button is not going to like itself. And we'll see you in the next one.